Hey guys, Bugquester here, and I'm actually really kind of annoyed right now because I just shot this entire video, and apparently my uh, computer and the thing I was using to record it didn't feel like saving it, so here I am doing it again. So, I just finished reading Not a Drop to Drink by Mindy McGinnis. It really made me appreciate just having water on tap and a giant five-gallon thing we plug into our wall to keep cool, just constantly available to me, because in this book, Lynn lives in a world where water is really hard to come by, and her and her mother live on a farm with a pond, and they both basically just sort of guard this pond with their lives, because once that water runs out, they could die, and lots of people are kind of wandering around looking for water and something to drink, because you can live in the city, and you can pay, like, exorbitant amounts of money to have water on tap, or you can try to live out in the woods and in the wild, off the wild, off of rivers, rivers and streams and lakes and ponds, like Lynn and her mother have, and they have to shoot people to protect the pond from being drunk dry by these travelers and strangers and wanderers. So Lynn has grown up in a lifestyle where she only has known her mother, and she just knows every stranger to be an enemy, someone who could make their survival a lot more dis difficult and sort of up the risk factor for them. So this book just sort of follows Lynn and her g kind of growing as she starts to learn that maybe not every person that's not her mother needs to be shot with a bullet through their eyes. So I enjoyed watching her personal growth. I really enjoyed the world that was created and just sort of the concept of what would happen if one of the world's most valuable resources was just sort of gone and not available anymore and people just didn't have water. And it was interesting to see the community. It was interesting to sort of see Lynn growing as a person and just becoming a stronger person. So those are basically the really big traits that I took away from this book. When I do reviews, I don't like to go into a lot of words and to, to expound upon unnecessary like things and themes and stuff, stuff that I'm not going to remember. When I do a review, I like to kind of try to focus on the things that I know years from now that are going to kind of still stick with me. And if someone asks me what the book's about, it's most likely what I'll say then, as opposed to now when I still have all this information and all these facts still in my head and I still know the names of all the characters and I still know like really small minuscule details that made the story more interesting and it made it more interesting to read at the time but later on I'm not going to really recall most of these details and they're not that important in compared to the whole storyline so I kind of just sort of like to focus on the things that really sort of drew me in and that I know I will remember and if someone asks me for a book on survival or a book on someone coming into their own and kind of learning about other people and just sort of going from being a cold, hard, shoot anyone who's not their mother to growing as a person and starting to see other people as human beings or like, you know, a dystopia with water shortage and a lot of fighting and violence and shooting and killing, well then, you know, I'll recommend this book. But if they ask for some minuscule detail, like somebody who carries a red handkerchief, I'm not going to remember that one of the characters in this book had a red handkerchief and that's how they're described a couple of times. I'm, I'm not going to recall that at all. So uh, that is basically my shortened review. I have another book waiting for me that I can't wait to start. I waited too long to make this review, so I've had to put off reading the other book because I like to keep the current book that I just read fresh in my mind by not starting another book till I make the review. And I tend to put off making reviews because I know that means editing later, which is ridiculous because I make like a five minute video, but somehow it takes me 30 minutes to edit. But I don't uh, script my videos, so there's a lot of ums and uhs and me staring off to space to edit, but I would rather sit and edit for 30 minutes than take five seconds to write down some ideas, so I don't know why I do that, but that is just how I do things, and who knows, maybe in the future I'll do better, but for now, this is my lifestyle. So, uh, thanks for watching. Bye!